The 75th Independence Day celebrations saw great enthusiasm all over the country today. Today's celebrations mark the commencement of a year-long series of events, Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, in keeping with the platinum milestone that the nation has reached after being liberated from British rule in 1947. Northeast India witnessed great ardor and gaiety as well, and reports of the platinum celebrations have poured in from different states of the region. In Assam, the Central Independence Day function was held at Khanapara Guwahati. Chief Minister Dr. Himanta Bishwa Sharma hoisted the national flag and inspected the Guard of Honor, comprising troops of Assam police and NCC cadets, among others. Later, armed forces' helicopters shard battles on the event ground from the skies. The Chief Minister conveyed his Independence Day wishes to the people of the state while asserting that not only Assam but the entire Northeast has been an integral part of Indian nationality and culture since the times of Mahabharata. Stressing on Mahatma Gandhi's philosophy of Swaraj, he said that one of the significant aspects of his philosophy was economic self-reliance, which all should aspire for. <laughs> Gandhi Monoput of Harana, Gandhi Rajanoiti Karo, Otronoiti, Sintadara, Polisalito, Bodhan Koi, Sorador of Hidhavana, Sorador of Notable British or Rajanoiti, Domon of Porwa in Afil, Yar Otro Afil, Otto Depo, Haroti of Otolo, Otronoiti, Swadinota, Aro Postimia, Hanaskiti, Agra for Senior Under Officer, Senior Division, 
In Mizoram, Independence Day functions were held in all the district capitals. In the celebrations held at Assam Rifles Ground Aizol, Chief Minister Zoram Thanga hoisted the national flag. In his speech, he stressed on the strong communal bonding among the Mizo people that has cushioned the blow inflicted by the COVID pandemic. The Chief Minister further gave a report on the development and initiatives taken by the state government. He further informed that the government of India is promoting exotic fruits with special importance to dragon fruit. He thanked the medical and healthcare personnel for their relentless service. COVID-19 Asham Bihar le West Bengal le tan puya tuom taka duty in an mo purdale ti tu te chat taka le chuak in an thoka an chuanom ta seta um kal ta chung kan ruli lo chi rang rang cheng fai bia chi ta during the celebration, police medals and state teachers' awards were distributed among the awardees. Tripura today celebrated the 75th Independence Day. The main program was held at Assam Rifles Ground in Agartala, where Chief Minister of Tripura, Biplop Kumar Dev, hoisted the national flag. He took the guard of honour and later in his speech he highlighted the achievements of the state government, asserting that the state is seeing all-round development. He highlighted how the farmers are now getting value for their products and even the fruit growers from the state are getting international markets now. Honorable Chief Minister Mima Khandu, 
rise to the saluting base. In Arunachal Pradesh, the state function was held at Indira Gandhi Park, Itanagar. Chief Minister Pema Khandu unfurled the national flag. He said that Arunachal has witnessed an immense pace of development during last few years, coming from three primary schools in 1947 to more than 3,000 schools and from no banks to network of financial institutes. He asserted that the state has ensured zero COVID vaccine wastage. He further informed that Arunachal oranges have received GI tag and the state, being the largest producer of kiwi in the country, has started exporting fruits. He also informed the gathering about the government's approval of Arunachal Pradesh policy on psychoactive substance 2021. On the occasion, ministers, Sir, MLAs, Honorable and Chief Minister Pima including Chief Secretary Naresh Kumar and DGP Arthi Pathai were present. Balunt. 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 दोस्तों भाई और बहनों आप सभी को देर सारा शुभकामनाएं और बधाई देता हूं आज के इस अवसर पर हम याद करना चाहेंगे उन सभी स्वतंत्रता सेनानियों का जिन्होंने अपनी जान का कुर्बानी देते हुए इस देश को आजादी दिया है अंडर द डायनेमिक लीडरशिप ऑफ आवर बिलव्ड प्राइम मिनिस्टर श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी उनके लीडरशिप में ना ही केवल इस देश को प्रगति दिया है मगर अंतरराष्ट्रीय रिलेशंस पर भी एक नया गति एक नया ऊर्जा मिला है यही नहीं बल्कि अपने ही देश में अपना डिफेंस मैकेनिज्म को भी स्ट्रेंथनिंग किया है अब तक का सबसे बड़ा रिफॉर्म्स कंबाइन डिफेंस सर्विस का लॉन्च करना Air Force, Army और Navy को एक जुट कमान के अंदर में लेके आना ये अभी तक का सबसे बड़ा रिफॉर्म आया है और नाचल प्रदेश का खासियत हमारे यहाँ के एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन, पब्लिक और Army इन तीनों फोरम्स में बहुत अच्छा रिलेशन हम लोग मेंटेन करता है मैं इस 75 इयर्स ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस के इस ओकेजन पर और नाचल प्रदेश के सभी जनताओं को ये अपील करता हूँ, मैं रिक्वेस्ट करता हूँ कि हम लोग कंधे से कंधा मिलाकर आर्मी का साथ हम लोग देते आए हैं और भी हम लोग देते जाएंगे। The 75th Independence Day was celebrated with gaiety and patriotic fervor across Sikkim today. The state-level program was held at Manan Kendra, Gangtok, where Chief Minister P.S. Tamang unfurled the national flag and received the Guard of Honor. Speaking on the occasion, the Chief Minister said that eradicating poverty, corruption, illiteracy and superstitions will be a true homage to freedom fighters on this Independence Day. He said the development was unhindered during the pandemic, especially in sectors like health, agriculture and defence. He thanked Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the central government for ramping up health infrastructure rapidly to help the states to fight the pandemic. He said that Sikkim became an example for controlling COVID-19 during the first wave of the pandemic, which was appreciated by all. The Chief Minister also launched the Sikkim Urban Garib Awas Yojana worth Rs 156.87 crores and presented State Meritorious Service Awards. Brihatam Prajatar Desh, Hamra Mahan Bharat ko Pachatro Swatinda Divas Espali Amrit Mosso Kurub Mahami Manauna Gaire Kucha Ani Yese Sumamuratma ऐसे पवित्र दिन में मस्किम बासी लगाए देश बासी पति हार्दिक बधाई अनेक सुबह काम में व्यक्त कर दर्शन हुए समझ बटा अनेक तेज समय का स्वतंत्र संग्रामी हरले देखो अथक योगदान को कारण 
आज हमी राजनीतिक दासोद शतक स्वातंत्र भैया जसरी स्वाधीनता का संपूर्ण संग्रामी राजनीतिक दासोत्व विरुद्ध लड़े हमीला स्वाद स्वाधीन बनाक थे तेरी नई अब हमी गरीबी भ्रष्टाचार अशिक्षा अज्ञानता र अंधविश्वास को दासोत्व जनता स्वतंत्र दिलाने काम कर The occasion was aptly celebrated in all the districts and subdivisions as well and various events were also organized to mark the day. Srimati Narmit Lepcha Additional Director of Social Justice Ladies and gentlemen, lined up first among this year's including three NPRF battalions, seven RPG regiments, action force battalions, ten Kona battalions, five institutions, composite hospitals, and arms workshops. Then thirty-five presidents' police medals for gallantry. Meghalaya joined the rest of the country in celebrating the seventy-fifth Independence Day today at Shillong and other district headquarters with patriotic fervor. Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma unfurled the tricolour at the second ground polo and took the salute of three marching contingents, the Border Security Force, the Central Reserve Police Force and the Special Force 10 of Meghalaya Police, including the brass band from the border wing of the Home Guards. The Chief Minister extended his gratitude to the frontline workers of the state in tackling the COVID-19 pandemic. Talking about the development works the state government has taken up so far, the Chief Minister said that various initiatives have been taken up to improve health facilities. The district headquarters and subdivisions too observed the day with patriotic fervour. Various cultural and sports activities were also organised at places to mark the day.
from a distant invader. But today, our fight is against a deadly virus. I take this opportunity to salute our frontline healthcare workers, doctors, nurses, volunteers, community leaders, religious leaders, police personnel, municipal workers, political representatives, and district administration teams who selflessly risk their lives every day to serve others in need. Manipur observed the 75th Independence Day with the main function held at 1st Battalion Manipur Rifles Parade Ground, Imphal. Chief Minister Ranbiran Singh unfurled the national flag and took the salute of various contingents of security personnel. In his speech, he said that Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav initiative would highlight the achievements during the 75 years of India's independence. Referring to the state law and order situation, he said that the state has witnessed social harmony during the last four and a half years, making it one of the best law and order improving state according to Niti Aayog report. He further stressed on the government's war on drugs campaign and went on to appreciate the people of the state for successfully containing the spread of the coronavirus. During the occasion, the Chief Minister honoured the police personnel and state officials for their services to the state and conferred the Chief Minister Award for Good Governance to the top police personnel and officials. Independence Day celebrations were also witnessed across the district headquarters and subdivisions in all its grandeur. <laughs> Another piece of the idea of the current head appears to have been quite under the cabinet and the history of the distant remote to me. Who is the Olympic representative of the Wisin? Makoyi Namuka, son of the host of the Pinot of the Sports Department, the creator of the Kamen, Madam Kamakushin, by Shadanakan.
In Nagaland, Chief Minister Nefu Rio unfurled the national flag and took salute from 11 parade contingents, including 1st Assam Rifles, 78th CRPF Battalion, DEF Kohima, among others. Speaking on the occasion, Rio said, Naga political groups have been in ceasefire with the Government of India for a long time and the peace talks have made significant progress over the years. Touching on the long-standing interstate border dispute with Assam, Rio hoped the border issue would be settled amicably by the two state governments. Rio also appealed to all citizens to observe COVID-appropriate behaviour besides taking the vaccine. The celebration was marked by a cultural presentation and distribution of various awards.